diagnostic solutions for the food industry and the health sector. We develop, manufacture, and um, commercialize uh, enzymatic biosensors and rapid immunosay tests for the detection of parameters related to food safety and health. One of the most important uh, challenge in industry, in food industry, is to prevent contaminated products from reaching the market. And safe food containing bacteria, viruses, or chemical substances can cause more than 200 different diseases. So it requires constant scientific monitoring to ensure uh, the safe handling, preparation, and storage of food through the whole chain. Quality and consistency are also important aspects, which have driven to the development of sophisticated analytical methods and instrumentation to the detriment of the traditional ones, which are uh, time consuming and tedious. Sulfites are the most used antioxidant in food and beverage sector. They are used to extend the shelf life of products as well as to kill bacteria and keep the, uh, the color of the product in a wide variety of foods, such as uh, dried fruits, uh, meat, or shrimp. However, they are recorded as allergens by the main international regulatory bodies on food safety because of the adverse effect, health effects. For this reason, sulfite maximum concentration is regulated, and it must be ensured by the agrofood uh, processing industries. In Europe, the limit of sulfites in crustaceans is restricted from 150 ppm to 300 ppm, according to the size of the crustaceans. The addition of sulfites in raw uh, prawns and shrimps has been a worldwide practice for many years to avoid melanosis. Melanosis is a natural post-mortem mechanism that involves the action of an enzyme which in the presence of oxygen, it forms compounds that polymerize into insoluble, uh, insoluble pigments or black spots. It is harmless, it has no impact on product taste, and it is not indicative of bacterial spoilage. But uh, the acceptance of the product can be repulsive for the consumers and it diminishes the, their market value. So stream farms uh, use this antioxidant at the harvest time in order to inhibit this enzymatic process. Shrimps are harvested in large farms where they must be chilled as soon as possible when they are removed from the pond. Next, the traditional treatment consists of taking the cooled shrimp and immersing them in a metabisulfite solution for several minutes. After this, uh, they are transported to the processing plant where first the sulfite is in shrimp is quantified and then if the level of sulfide com complies with the regulation, they are washed, weighed, and processed. So the problem with this immersion technique is how to properly control the real metabisulfide concentration in the bath. And control addition of metabisulfide leads to high number of sulfide analysis over stream in the processing plant, which implies high cost and time for those, um, for those plants especially taking, taking into account how tedious and time-consuming is uh, the current official method of analysis. So there is a need to control sulfite over the whole process in an accurate and fast way. And it is in this co context that Biolans biosensors come into play. A biosensor is a compact device that combines a biological sensing element with a physical chemical transducer for the quantification of an analyte of interest. Biolan methods make use of an amperometric detection on enzymatic inter interactions, highly specific to the analyte uh, or molecule to be determined. It is uh, composed of a potentiostat, which works as a reader, and an ele electrochemical cell which consists of a reference electrode, counter electrode, and a working electrode named biotest. The biotest electrode has an analyte specific enzyme immobilized on the surface which interacts with the analyte releasing electrons and so changing the current, electric current going through the electrochemical cell. Those electrical changes are proportional to the analyte concentration and it can be calculated by a means of a calibration, a previous calibration. 
for sulfide quantification, uh, Violan has to validate it biosensors, a portable biosensor called Biofish 7000 Sul and a benchtop biosensor named Biofish 3000 Sul. The portable device was developed to monitor metabisulfide levels in water where the crustaceans are treated. It is fast, easy, and a portable device, and results are obtained in less than one minute. On the other hand, the benchtop uh, method is developed to quantify sulfide in shrimp, and results are uh, obtained in a fast, in less than three minutes, and accurate way. Apart from the reader, the other main difference between these two methods is the electrode. In the case of the portable device, the electrode is an, a screen printed electrode uh, that includes the whole electrochemical cell within. The counter electrode, the reference electrode and the working electrode are printed on a plastic support. So it is pre-calibrated, ready to use and is disposable. On the other hand, the biotest in the 3000 series is a gold electrode that needs to be calibrated on a daily basis and can perform up to 150 analyses during uh, 15 days. So with these two biosensors, we solve the problematic of sulfate, uh, sulfate monitoring in aquaculture. First, by quantifying the metabisulfite content of the water beans, and then quantifying the sulfide that was absorbed by the streams in a fast and an accurate, ac accurate way. In this presentation, uh, I will focus on the development of Biofish 7000 Sul method. The first task was um, on the optimization. The first task on the optimization of the method was to develop and design a new potentiostat based on system of chip technology which provides connectivity and helps on sustainability and cost reduction through the miniaturization. Mini the biotest was also re-optimized, especially the size, the position and the distances between the electrodes printed on the plastic in order to obtain acceptable and reproducible uh, signals. In addition, a capillary inlet system was also designed consisting of an adhesive layer and a hydrophilic cover that facilitates the entry of the liquid, liquid into the channel and into the uh, cell, reducing the sample volume added uh, for the analysis. The amount of enzyme immobilized on the working electrode was also reduced in order to optimize uh, to the maximum for mass manufacturing. And lastly, the production scale up consisted on the immobilization of the enzyme uh, by an uh, automated robot, uh, and it was performed sheet by sheet. Electrode, uh, electrode sheet consists of 100 electrodes, so uh, it was immobilized um, each sheet, each electrode sheet first. And then the three layers, the electrode, the adhesive layer, the hydrophilic layer, they were assembly uh, one on top of the other. And lastly, those um, sorry, there you go. and lastly, the um, the whole layers they were cut in in individual electrodes uh, by a plotter. So combining the new pot potential stat the new biotest prototype and the mass manufacturing process, we performed the analytical validation of the method. The method consists of a dilution of the sample and the analysis of that diluted sample in configured in two measurement ranges. So these results from the validation shows that the method is linear in the quantification range of the method and the recoveries ranged between 87% and 98% with good repeatability as shown by the low um, RSD values obtained. The stability of the biotest was also tested in an accelerated way, which consists of incubating the electrodes at higher temperature than the storage one and applying the arrhenius equation that you can see below in the, in the slides. 
this was this way a storage of 28 um, a storage of 28 days at 35 degrees simulates almost a year at four degrees. The calibrations obtained with electrodes kept at 35 degrees during a month um, verifies that the electrodes electrodes are a stable minimum a year, which we are now currently validating at real time. Finally, uh, since most of the shrimp farms are located in countries with tropical weather, the effect of the working temperature was also tested. For this purpose, uh, three calibrations, calibrations were performed, one at 15 degrees, other at 25 degrees, and the last one at 35 degrees, and no significant differences were um, observed between them. So validating the use of this method between 15 and 20 and 35 degrees. So taking into account all these results, the Biofish 7000 SUL method provides accurate sulfide quantification from 8 to 110 grams per liter of metabisulfide a repetitivity expressed as imprecision lower than 7% and, and our irreproducibility lower than 10%. This portable device, which requires minimal sample treatment, is suitable for field applications to monitor sulfide concentration in stream farming and ensure the right amount of metabisulfide in water bins. Our next step uh, is going to be the integration of these biosensors into a digital platform named Biolang Global. So all biosensors can be connected through the whole value chain. This will include the integration of the information generated in a, a simple and visual way. It will optimize cost and time with quick decisions made, made based on uh, the results in real time and it will also guarantee the traceability of the product. So Biolang Global will provide a complete uh, solution for the, meta, uh, for the sulfate analysis in seafood. And to conclude, I would also uh, I would like to mention also that our next uh, goal will be the connection and integration of our biosensors and the platform with other platforms. And, um, this work will be done with uh, our partners at Aquavitae Norte. So thank you very much for your attention and and just uh, <laughs> thanks, John. Uh, are you ready for some uh, for some questions from the uh, the audience? Yeah, sure. You, you can click uh, stop presenting if you want. It's at the top. So oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I, first of all, I was uh, I was wondering, um, do you see it at the top? Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering, um, what has been the resp response from the uh, shrimp industry? I mean, the you haven't launched this late the Biofish seven thousand yet, but the Biofish three thousand, as I understood, has been on the market for a while. Well, it has been just launched this week. <laughs> the oh, 3, okay. We have <laughs> a previous a previous one that it was right. three. 300 and 700. Ah, right. So the Biofish 700, uh, but it has no connectivity and it's like the previous uh, series. They are already in the market and they are mm -hmm. working well. But now we are um, improving those devices and adding a uh, new, 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 new things like connectivity and, and accessibility to the platform. And exactly. Yeah. Uh, there's a question from Mercedes here in the chat. She's wondering if you could comment a bit more on the possibilities of having access to big amounts of data on sulfide presence. I, uh, uh, I, sorry, I was reading I was it for looking, you. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. I can read the questions for you. Yeah. So she's wondering uh, if you could comment a bit more on the uh, on the possibilities for of having access to big amounts of data on sulfide presence. Like uh, what? What can you do with this? The data? most important thing is that your product is going to be traceable the, for, through the whole value chain. So, uh, in this case, when uh, you know how many, how much metabisulfite you have added to the stream, and you know how uh, how much uh, sulfite was added to the stream, so uh, the traceability 
also um, the ability or it will give you the ability to make quick decisions because you are seeing if everything is connected in a platform, you can see from your office mm -hmm. <laughs> that uh, the results and you can make quick decisions that, um, yeah. And is it important for for buyers to to know the level? Now, yeah. now that now that everything needs to be traced, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so yeah. <laughs> Can imagine, yeah. So there's a question from uh, Phil here, who's the project coordinator. He joined us. I'm gonna Phil. You can turn your camera and and uh, microphone on if you want. Okay. Thank you. Um, hi, hi Yona. Thank you. Very nice presentation, and I, you know, it was really impressive. I think development um, example of development of a sensor for aquaculture. It's fantastic. I, I have a question, and I missed the first few minutes of the talk. Sorry, but uh, so hopefully I'm not uh, covering something that you've already covered. But obviously, um, you know, the sulfite sensor is extremely important in the in the shrimp. Um, uh, 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 as a in the shrimp, um, sorry, I'm losing my words now. <laughs> industry, uh, what applications do you see maybe in other industries? And I'm thinking perhaps of recirculating aquaculture systems where sulfites may build up in the system. Have Have you looked at that, or as your main focus, obviously, has been the shrimp industry? But have you considered no, other have, industries and applications? Yeah, we Yes, we have uh, developed also a method for sulfide quantification in dried fruits. Okay. So, dried yeah. fruits. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, so that dried fruit, that was post harvesting, obviously. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. And also, we have um, for allergens, uh, a biotest for allergens to detect, but that's mostly for streams. Yes. Yeah. But we are open to to you know to to work with new matrices. So <laughs> no, for sure, I think that um, there's bound to be more applications yeah. in other industries. Yeah, thank you. I wasn't Very good. actually Phil. Could you stay here for a while? I wasn't aware that in recirculating aquaculture system that sulfide levels can build up. Uh, is it is it important to measure these uh, numbers for the health of the fish? Um, I think in any aquaculture system, if you don't have good circulation in there, then this becomes an issue, uh, mm -hmm. is my understanding. Not being a fish uh, aquaculturalist myself, but I'm no, focusing I more on low traffic, but um, that's my understanding. So, And I guess the other question around that would be, I guess your sulfite levels are quite high in the in the shrimp industry, and when, yes. they're, when they're significantly lower, can you still use the sensors or is it um is the is the level too low perhaps yes we have a quantification level with this biosensor the 7001 we have a quantification level of five grams yeah it's very large but with the 3000 um, method we have a um, seven ppm seven milligrams per yeah. liter um, yeah. so we okay. yeah we we cover the whole quantification Spectrum. range from yeah, yeah. No, that's very but interesting. But in the aquaculture uh, circulating circulation, where would you uh, where would you um, quantify the sulfides in water? Uh, that would be in water. I mean, the other really interesting thing is that you do it both in water and in the in the in the product itself. I think that's a really yeah. interesting combination of sen of sensor abilities as well. It's very very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thanks, uh, Phil, for a uh, great question. Uh, if there are any other questions, feel free to drop them in the chat or raise your hand and you can, uh, and I'll let you unmute your mic. Uh, I have one last question for me, at least, uh, Jean. Uh, is, um, yeah. So you said that the 3000 model just came on the market. What about the 7000? When, uh, when is the planned release? Do you have a specific date or a timeline? We don't have a date yet, but in, it's going to be early next year. Early next year. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there are anyone from the shrimp uh, producing industry here, then uh, you should take note of that. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, uh, I don't know if there are any more uh, questions. I can't see anything in the chat or any raised hands. Uh, so I think we can uh, conclude. If you don't have anything else you would like to add, John? 
No, that's all for me. <laughs> no? Well, I, I just want to say thanks a lot for your presentation and for sharing you. your uh, your knowledge and your expertise with us. And of course, uh, you should know that if you just caught half of this webinar, uh, it is it has been recorded. So we will put it on our YouTube for Aquavita so you can watch it afterwards uh, and share if uh, there is anyone you know in your network that might need to, to know about Biolands new sensors and uh, their work in the Aquavita project. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, sorry, before we go, there's just a, okay, there's a quick comment from Guillermo who says, uh, congrats, John. <laughs> <laughs> and Rosa Chavela as well, she uh, extends her uh, congratulations. So uh, thank you. <laughs> thanks, everyone. And, uh, and see you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>